Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you doing today? Good evening. You're doing fine? We are here now ready to Excellent. learn English. Very good, excellent. And how was your weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? Yeah, everything okay. Did you do something interesting? Maybe. How? Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe. Okay. Yeah, but everything okay. Everything okay, right. Okay, yeah. that's excellent. And Thank the rest of you guys, how are you doing? How was your weekend? I'm fine, teacher. Hi, teacher, I'm fine. Excellent. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Feel great, thanks. Great, perfect. Thank you for being on. Exciting to for the beginning to the class. <laughs> Excellent. Do you remember the last topic that we were studying last Thursday? Uh, after the WH question, uh, remember that using the there is and there are. And, and what else? I don't remember only that. Okay, I sent the presentation so you can have it handy. Um, so we're going to start and remember that we started discussing about um, professions, right? Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. yes okay. And occupations. Yes, we started... Uh, talking about professions and occupations. And, uh, well, I don't know if you can see my screen. Okay, I'm sharing my screen so we can start, right? Meanwhile, the rest is joining us, right? So, um, we're going to start with uh, jobs, vocabularies, and activities, okay? So, uh, this is, vamos a hacer esto mientras los demás también se van uniendo. It's jobs, vocabularies, and activities. And uh, we have this exercise after we watch the video. I see that most of the people is here. But we are going to wait for more. Let me get ready with this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share my computer sound. And this is still loading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, um, uh, well, the reduction of do and does, that is the first thing we have here. So let us listen and then we're going to practice. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words this is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, 
do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of doing thus so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English and notice the reduction of do and does. Okay, so there we have the video about the pronunciation and reduction of do. And so do you have any questions about this video? Or about pronunciation itself? No questions? No. No One questions. Moment, not no okay, so it is uh it's clear right uh how we are going to link the sounds when we are asking so um we're going to start with the activity right as i told you at the beginning as you don't have any questions so we can continue with the next activity well as i was saying um i can you see my screen no no teacher. Let me try again. Mm -hmm. I guess it was already opened. Okay, so uh, we have this activity, and I don't know if you, some people usually print the presentation, but you also have this um, in your material, you have a similar exercise. Well, we have some professions here and the activities that they do. So let us repeat, where's the uniform? Ready? Where's the uniform? Stands all day. Stands Sits all day. Stands all, all day. Sits all day. Sits, Sits all, all day. day. Oh. Handles money. Handles, Handles money. money. Talks to people. Works at night. Works at night. Works hard. Works hard. Makes a lot of money. Makes a lot of money. Do you have any question regarding to vocabulary here? No. No question. Handles teacher, what is it? Handles is the manipular. Manipular. Handles money. Okay. Okay, same teacher. Okay. Any other question? No more questions? No teacher. Okay, so what we're going to do is to um, classify here, right? We have different professions and occupations and um, we are going to fill out this chart for example, who works in an hospital? A doctor, a nurse, any other that you can mention here in this uh, category? A secretary. A secretary. Thank you so much, Jesus. A secretary. Yes. Okay. What about in an office? What can you mention? Who works in an office? Receptionist. A uh, receptionist. Uh huh. 
Lawyer. Secretary. A lawyer, a secretary. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say gerente in English? Manager. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, in a store. A salesperson, okay. Any other idea? Cashier. A cashier, uh huh. Security guard. A security guard. A security guard, uh huh. Any a other? Supervisor, a supervisor, yes, of course, a supervisor. The store manager. A store manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, who works in a hotel? Receptionist. A receptionist, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Manager. A manager, uh huh. Cap, you know. Waiter. Waiter and waitress. Waiter, yeah. waitress, uh huh. Cookers. ¿Cómo se escribe? Chef. <clears throat> what? Uh, waiter and waitress. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Gracias. Uh, yeah. Es mesero, okay. mesero, 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 ¿verdad? Así es. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Chef. Ah, uh, chef, ajá. Uh -huh. Cool. Now, um, we are going to do something really quick. We have some activities here that um, we have works in uniform, stands all day, sits all day, handles money, talk to people, work at night, works hard and makes a lot of money, okay? So uh, we're going to make a guessing game. For this, I would like you to, um, to get a piece of paper. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to get a piece of paper and a marker. I need you to get a piece of paper and a marker. I'll give you a chance. Le voy a dar tiempo de que vayan a buscar un pedazo de papel y un marcador. Because I, oh, yes, sí, tiene que ser un marcador, un plumón. I'll give you time. Ready? Ready. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to start, I'm going to model this activity. I'm going to mention the activities and I'm going to write, I have here a notebook and my marker. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to write here a profession. Okay, I'm going to write a profession Okay, now I'm going to say the activities that this person performs. And you're going to guess what is the profession that I wrote. Van a escribir, a adivinar. Okay, uh, this person wears a uniform, stands all day, works in the street. Okay. 
Uh -huh. Police can? officer. Excellent. Yeah, that's police officer <laughs> or policeman. <laughs> policeman, okay. Uh -huh. So you're going to do the same. Escriban okay. una y luego van a mencionar las actividades para que sus compañeros adivinen cuál es. Y te disculpe, ¿cuál es la actividad? Tienen que escribir en una página de papel una profesión o una ocupación. ¿Verdad? Y pensar en qué hace esta persona para describirla. Por ejemplo, ahorita eh, yo escribí una y les dije tres actividades que esta persona hace. Les dije, quiero... Ay, qué... um... Escucho como... Sí, le dije, this person, this person wears. Enojado canelo, teach. Sí, wears a uniform, stands all day, and, wear, and works in the street, right? Works in the street. Estas fueron las tres actividades que yo mencioné. This person wears a uniform, stands all day, and works in the street. ¿Qué profesión es? Entonces ustedes adivinaron y si era policeman, right? Esto es lo que yo escribí. Ahora ustedes van a hacer lo mismo. En una página de papel, Van a escribir una profesión con un marcador y luego van a ser voluntarios, van a decir las actividades que esta persona hace y sus compañeros van a adivinar. Ok, gracias. Teacher, okay. y exactamente si no sabemos pronunciar cómo se dice lo que esa persona hace en inglés, ¿cómo podemos hacer? Eh, Pueden preguntar oh, uh, uh -huh. <ríe> cómo se pronuncia o lo escriben en el chat. Ok. Pero vamos a hacer trampa porque nosotros podemos ver el chat. Sí. Ah, uh -huh. o, o si le da pena, lo puede escribir y luego lo pronunciamos. Okay. Ready? Volunteer? Teacher, y puede ser de cualquier otra profesión o solo de las que hemos visto. No, cualquiera. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, one volunteer. Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Okay, Eugenia. Listen to Eugenia mm -hmm. and try to guess. Escuchemos mm -hmm. a Eugenia y traten de adivinar. Okay. Um, this person um, stands all day, uh, wears a uniform, and handles a lot of money. A uh, cashier? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, a cashier. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Eugenia. Another mm -hmm. volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Hilda. Let's listen to Hilda. Try to guess. 
um, these people, sorry, this person listen to people, give advice, help people with their problems. Psychology. Yes. Psychology. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Yoda. Any other? Erika? Okay, yo, aquí está la parte donde no sé cómo se escribe. Se dice, eh, this person make estudios socioeconómicos, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, it's like social economic studies. Uh, work in ONG, in, in hospital, in los gaos, no sé cómo se dice. Judges, uh huh. Can somebody guess? <clears throat> ¿Alguien puede adivinar? Social worker. Sí, trabajo social. Uh, yes, a social worker. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much, Erika. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer? Me, teacher. Let's see, Dora. Okay. This person works in the office and works uh, tie and solve the pressure. Alguien puede adivinar o quieren que repita? Repeat, Repeat please. please. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. <gasps> I can okay. hear the last part. <laughs> this person works in the office and works and time and solve the cases. ¿Cómo se dice casos? Cases. Cases. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cases. Cases. Lawyer. Secretary. Oh, lawyer. 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 Yes. Ah, uh, lawyer. Uh -huh, lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much that I have to say is this person works in an office, wears a tie and solve cases. Excellent work. Any other volunteer? Me teacher. Okay. Uh, this person wears uniform. No, no, nadie te vio arrastrando. Arms and defend the country. Can you guess or would you like him to repeat? Yes, repeat. Please. Can you please. repeat, please, Edwin? Okay, this person wears uniform, use arms and defend the country. Police officer. Soldier. Army. Soldier. Yeah. Okay, soldier. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Jesus. This person works, sits all day, talks to people, and wears a top. Can you guess or would you like him to repeat? Repeat. Can you repeat, please, Jesus? This person works, sits all day, talks to people, and wear a top. Receptionist? No. Service a vendor? Nurse? No. Customer service person? No. Sales person. No. Recep reception. Can you give us another clue? De nosotros huh? esta. <laughs> um, works with lawyer. Works with lawyer. Secretary. No. 
Selena hey. Tan. George. Yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. A judge. Any other volunteer? Any more volunteer? <laughs> Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Elmi. Thank you. Voy a intentar porque no sé cómo se pronuncia. And that's um, okay. You try. <laughs> this person, a uh, uniform. This person a class. This person is at school. Teacher. Teacher. A teacher. 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 Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You see, you did it. Ya ve que sí lo hizo y sí le entendieron. <laughs> so the idea is to try, es intentar, verdad, y comunicarnos y, y pues sí lo hizo bien. Is there anybody else? ¿Alguien más? Mi teacher. Ok. Um, I'm this person, I'm the driver, and give security your boss, um, or protect your boss. It is a Bible, a Bible, a Bible 24 7. Um, uh, 24-7. It's available 24-7. Uh -huh. 24 and 7. Can you know? Mm -hmm. Entre las personas que conozco creo que no se les ocurrirá un poco. Aunque ya mencionaron algunos cuerpos. Solo que estén diferentes. Body war. ¿Cómo? Body war. Body war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Very good. So we're going to check attendance. So please stay present and turn on your cameras. We're going to start. Ana Bernarda. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Andrea Alessandra. Andrea Alessandra. Angie Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Carlos Rafael. Carlos Rafael. César Azael. César Azael. Daniel Edgardo. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Delmi Roxana. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Mary. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. Thank you. Eneida. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Eloisa. Present teacher. Thank you. Eugenia Asuncion. Present teacher. Thank you. Fatima Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Glenda Net Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Glenda Beatriz. Harold Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert Douglas. Present. Thank you. Teacher. Hilda Milagro. Teacher. Here, teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jaime Antonio. I hear me, teacher. Thank you. Jesus Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Graciela. Jocelyn Graciela. 
Jorge Alexis. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Menéndez. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Katerina Abigail. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Josué. Present teacher. Thank you. And Rodolfo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to continue with our content for today. Okay, we were here sharing some um, uh, professions, activities. Um, we listened about the reduction of do and does. And then we have the simple present with WH questions and the conversation he works in a hotel. So we're going to listen to the conversation and you will realize how the, this topic is used, right? So en la conversación vamos a, a, a identificar también cómo se reduce um, el do, the reduction, cómo van uniendo esto. So let's pay attention to the video. And then we are going to practice the conversation and also the WH questions in the simple present. Mm, and here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can. I can see it. Okay. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. 
let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, basically here we have the, the formula, right? How to make the WH questions in this topic. Uh, do you have any question about the video? No questions. No questions. Okay, so we will move on and continue with the presentation. Hmm. Okay, so we have a conversation here. We're going to practice it. You have it in the material and you have it also in the presentation that I sent. Um, well, let's try to repeat. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother Where work? Where does, does your brother work? work? In a hotel. In a, in a hotel. hotel. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. My, my brother, brother works in a hotel. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Too bad. What hotel does he work for? That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Oh, oh that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Actually, he's the manager. All right. It sounds like somebody is in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to practice this conversation, and I'm going to create the group section so you can practice with your classmate. <clears throat> okay, remember to click join or unirse and try to put into practice the reduction of do and does, right? Traten de practicar la reducción, okay? What does, uh, what hotel does he, does he work for it? and so on. Vamos a ver. Yo soy Rachel. Ok. Entonces seré Ángela. Bueno. Eh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a uh, from this clerk. He does he like it. He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. 
That's too bad. What hotel does he work from? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay, ahora. Practica con el... No, Herbert. mejor practica tu con, el... con Herbert. <ríe> Puedes más. Ah, pues... Después lo haré yo, después lo haré yo con él. Ahora yo soy, yo soy Ángela, me gusta Herbert, vos sos Rachel. Rachel. Ok, ok. okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in hotel too. He throws a desk clerk. How does he like it? He, he hates it. He does he like the manager. Mm, that's too bad. What hotel does he work? What hotel does he work from? That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. What does he do? Interesting. What Actually, he is the manager. Hey. Yeah, good. <laughs> Continue practice and you can do it. Uh, I see that you have a good, um, you don't have any issues with pronunciation. You just try to practice more and do it faster so you can sound more fluent. Okay. Okay. But you have a very good pronunciation. Lo han hecho muy bien. Entre más lo hagan, van a ir haciéndolo más fluido. Thank you. Thank you. Démosle <laughs> pues. Si querés. Uh, ok, ahora seré, quiero ver. La vez pasada fui Rachel. No. O, no, Ángela. Hoy seré Rachel. Ajá, ok. Y ahora voy con Herbert. Ok, él será Ángela. Voy a empezar. Where doesn't your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in an hotel too. He is a front dressed clean. Creo que sí se pronuncia. Oh, es clerk. Oh, like clerk. Yes. Thank you. A front desk clerk. Uh, he is oh, a front like desk clerk. He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What doesn't he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Okay, very good. Remember, it's interesting. 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 Oh, interesting. Interest. Interesting. 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 Uh -huh. interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You have chance interesting. for one more. Tienen chance para una más. Okay. Was <laughs> a Rachel and uh, Diana. Yo soy Rachel, ok. Otra vez Rachel, ok. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in an hotel too. He is a front door clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What doesn't he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, see. Sí. 
Ya no vino la teacher. I'm here. Happy, happy ah, Women's okay. Day. Aquí está la teacher, ok. Happy Women's Day. Estaba de incógnito entonces. Sí, de incógnito estaba la teacher. Ajá. A ver qué decía. Mamá. No, así me quedé. Sí, en el estuve porque a veces siento que cuando estoy ahí que se traba. Así que mejor apago la cámara para que no me vean. Se me lengua la traba. Okay, ok, teacher. But I, I see you did a very, very good job. Okay, so we will move on, right? Uh, remember, in the video, we studied the formula and how to make the simple present WH questions. Eh, esto estaba en el, en el video, ¿verdad? Cómo hacer la simple present WH questions. Esto es más fácil si vamos siguiendo la fórmula. Eh, primero decía que vamos a poner una W por la, la pregunta para la palabra, dependiendo que queremos eh, preguntar. Who es para? para ¿Quién? Singular. Who, oh. ajá, quién o, oh, yeah. It's yeah. to ask about people. What? Es el qué. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Yeah, ajá, it's to, yeah, sí. for things. When? Cuando. Cuando. Ajá. Refers to time. Where. Donde. Donde. Ajá. Refers to place. Eh, why. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Ajá. We need to give a reason. Cuando la pregunta es con why, ¿cómo contestamos? Because. 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 Ajá. How. Como, 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 ajá, refers to the way, to the manner, de qué forma, como, how often, cada cuánto, que, que tan seguido, menudo. ask about the frequency, ajá, and how much, cuánto, cuánto. yeah, ajá, por cuánto, con cantidad, very good, excellent, after the WH word, we need to place the auxiliary, it will do depending on the subject. We will uh, place do or does. When we refer to third person singular, we're going to use does. Vamos a usar does si el sujeto es tercera persona singular. Y vamos a usar do si refiere a I, you, uh, you, we, and they. Right? Y no vamos a modificar el verbo. Right? And probably sometimes we may have a complement. Algunas veces puede que necesitemos complement. And some others not necessary. Now that's like a review. What is about uh, to ask about things? Usamos what para preguntar sobre alguna cosa. Por ejemplo, what is your favorite color? Eh, aquí está con, y ese es solo para dar un ejemplo de cómo usar la, la, la question word. When, decimos, es para preguntar el, acerca del tiempo de un evento o alguna actividad. Por ejemplo, uh, when do you wake up every day? Where is asking about a place para preguntar sobre lugares. Ok, who, para preguntar acerca de una persona o sujeto. Whom, uh, is about a person, quién es el objeto, right? Uh, which. Is when we have an option or a choice. ¿Verdad? Cuando hay alguna um, para escoger algo. ¿Cuál? Whose es para preguntar sobre ownership. ¿A quién le pertenece algo? Whose keys are on the kitchen counter? ¿De quién son esas llaves que están en la, en el, en la barra de la cocina? Whose keys? Ok, so whose lo vamos a usar para preguntar de quién, a quién pertenece algo. Eh, why, ya dijimos, es para preguntar la razón. ¿Por qué? Eh, how is to asking about a procedure or method. Es eh, para un procedimiento o, o método. ¿Qué método se utilizó? Eso es para saber cómo. Ok. Um, eh, questions so far, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Miss, eh, referente a, la, a, lo, a lo anterior, eh, la palabra hates, eh, hates, ¿qué es el significado? 
Odio. Odiar. Uh -huh. Odiar. Ok. ¿Y lo que es el clar? ¿Cuál? Clar. Eh, C-L-E-R. Clark. Hey, clerk. Ah, sí, clerk. Clark. Clark. Un front desk clerk es como un recepcionista. Pero ahí decía desk clerk. Um, un front desk clerk es como alguien de atención al cliente, alguien que está al frente, como un recepcionista. Por eso se llaman front desk. From desk clerk. Son como customer service. Uh -huh. Ok, thanks. Es, es la profesión, así se llama la ocupación. Any other question? Ok, uh, if there are no more questions, we can continue with the next exercise. Uh, for this, I would like you to um, complete this. Uh, it is in your material. Esto lo tienen en su material. Este completar. Complete these conversations. Vamos a ir poniendo la question word y el auxiliar. Y vamos a ver qué es lo que falta. Ok. So, y a veces, bueno, para saber qué es lo que falta, tenemos que leer todo. Incluso la respuesta. Por ejemplo, la, la uno ya está hecha. Is your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Como contestó, ah, ella es una enfermera. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿qué hace tu hermana? What does your sister do? Aquí con mi, eh, sigue, does she eat? Y la respuesta es, it's difficult, but she loves it. How does she like it? How does she like it? Ajá. ¿Qué tanto le gusta a ella su trabajo? ¿Cómo qué tanto le gusta? How does, así, how does, porque es ella, how. So nos falta aquí el how y el like. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. And then we continue with number two, three, and four. Les voy a dar un poco de tiempo para que lo vayan resolviendo en su material. Y si no lo tienen impreso aún, pues puede ser en su cuaderno. Y me mandaron un reminder. Ya en lo que están trabajando les digo. Acá me mandaron. Bien. Falta que mande el, 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 el formulario firmado, ¿verdad? De que sí tiene acceso al material. Eh, Jaime Antonio, falta que mande por favor el formulario lleno. Jocelyn Graciela. Eh, miss, and one moment. Beatriz. Uh, one moment. Uh, yo en la, entre, entre, en la semana mandé lo que es eh, el formulario de donde yo doy, de, doy con puño y letra y firma, este, doy fe de que ya recibí mi material, solo que ni siquiera me han contestado. También ya mandé lo que es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Sobre la inscripción y tampoco me han contestado. Ahorita lo voy a anotar aquí. Si hace el favor, este puede reenviarlo al, al pero lo está enviando al, al correo, al, al número que se le dio, ¿verdad? Al número de teléfono. Eh, el, Sí, el primero de la confirmación que he recibido en mi material se lo envié a Hazel porque me dijo de que lo mandara al mismo número remitente. Luego el otro material de donde este, para la, la suscripción me dijeron que lo mandara a support, a, eh, arroba y al correo ese. Entonces lo, ahí lo he mandado. Ok. Aunque okay, ese, y a ese le dijeron que lo mandara al de support, no sé qué. Sí. 
me dijeron que a ese lo mandara. Sí, Gustavo, hágame el favor de mandarle eso a, a, a mi Selena. Ok, está bien, sí, porque yo ya lo mandé de la semana de ella, pasada. ¿verdad? Sí, mis gracias. Ok, sí, porque ella es la que me está mandando esto, mi Selena. Vaya, entonces mejor me voy a contactar directo con ella porque los demás... Sí, porque no vaya a ser que hayan perdido las cosas y si ese es el caso, ella le va a indicar si es necesario que, que pues lo vuelva a mandar y ahí para perdonar el, el inconveniente. Pero el problema está de que si pierden las cosas, no le comunican a uno que lo vuelva a mandar y luego después salen de que uno ya no puede continuar. Sí, por eso a, a, con tiempo. Somebody else, Miss. Sí, está Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jaime y Glenda, Beatriz, me dijeron. Pero, por ejemplo, Glenda Beatriz nunca se ha conectado. Jocelyn. Okay, finish the exercise. Mm, yes. Okay, I'm going to check with you. With me? Okay. Okay, Finish. number two. A volunteer to read the number two? Uh, me, it's fine. Okay, thank you, Hania. Okay. Uh, where, where does your brother work? At Ipor. He's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Excellent. That's the answer. Where? Where does your brother work? Uh -huh. mm. So ahí nos faltaba el where, de donde, yeah. like here. Aquí el y el work. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y how, I'm saying how. Mm -hmm. How he like that? excellent number three. A volunteer for number three. A volunteer for number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hector, thank you. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? In an office in the city. Okay. Where do they? Where do they work? Where do they work? Aha, uh -huh. very good. Thank you so much. And finally, number four. Number four, I volunteer for number four. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Okay, number four. What do you do? I am a student. I see. Uh, what do you like your classmates? They are good. I like them a lot. Okay, very good. How? Solo aquí sería how, ¿verdad? How do ah, you like? Okay. How do you like? Okay. De ahí you. todo está bien. Excelente. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, so um, I think that 
Well, tomorrow we will continue with this exercise. If you can, um, lo vamos a hacer juntos mañana en clases, okay? Don't, um, I know that sometimes it is difficult. Esto, acuérdense que estos ejercicios no son tarea, porque el, el siguiente que viene no está en la plataforma. Esa es eh, una práctica adicional, ¿verdad? No es tarea y tampoco es, es así como que nota lo que está en la presentación de PowerPoint. Ustedes concéntrense en los eh, de la plataforma, completar, ¿verdad? And that's it. Uh, do you have any question? No questions? Questions. Okay, so thank you for joining today's section. Eh, no sé si hay alguien más que no lo haya mencionado cuando pase lista. Nobody? Okay, sí. Aquí tengo ya Andrea Alessandra, me dice que tenía problemas, pero ya, ya la coloqué acá en la lista de asistencia. ¿Alguien más o solo ella? Ok, los demás ya están. Ok, I hope that you sleep well, rest a lot, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Teacher. Tomorrow, everybody. Good night, good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.